Welcome back to the channel today we're going to go over some cars that I found in my last previous video it was when I went out to Walmart and targets and hunted for cars trying to see if I could find those 20 cars that I want to buy and add it to my loose collection but every time I walk into the target it seems like there's not enough cars it's all fantasy cars slim pickings well that's what I get when I don't go in the morning I guess but I did find some cars and we're going to go over that and I have it right over there sitting in the Walmart bag did find some stuff from Target and Walmart we're going to go over that so stay tuned for that and I just want to thank everyone for subscribing to this video and sticking with me and yeah let's turn this camera over and let's go over the cars that I found from hunting okay so let's get started guys I have this bag of goodies here that I found at Walmart and I'm gonna go through all these cars that I found but before we do that I did go out to Rouse my local Rouse that lives that's down the block from me and I've been checking checking Rouse per, per little bit here a little bit there if you guys watch my short videos you see that I've walked in there and not find anything but I walked in there today and I found 2022 cars hanging so I picked up this Nissan Maxima drift car which is super cool I do have this already I was meaning to buy another one so I could unbox it and add it to my loose collection because I like the way it looks it's pretty cool um, this is the original color the first colorway for 2022 so we are going to take that out of the package then I found this one. This is a this is one of the castings that I could not find in 2022 until now. The Volvo Drift Wagon. I wasn't able to find this one at all in 2022. But look at how detailed that is in the back. And two dogs in the back there. And you got the tail lights and the nice high hot wheel drift that says on the license plate. And those rims and tires are looking sharp. And you got the tailpipes coming out the side behind the front tire. And then look how detailed how the headlights are the same as the windshield. All tied in together. And yellow chrome interior. Or two dogs in the back. That looks pretty cool. This looks much better in person than it is when I saw it on other people's channels and pictures. Um... But this was one of the ones I did not find in 2022. So I grabbed it. So now I got that first edition. That's the first color wave that I believe that that casting came out of. I don't think it came out of any other color. But I know. And I think this is the first color wave as well. I don't know if there's another one for 2022 first edition. Comment down below and let me know if there's another second color wave in this. For 2022 I know there is there is for this year for 2023 but I haven't wasn't able to find another one for 2022 but so glad that I found these two one to finish off my first editions for 2022 and one to unbox and we'll get to that later so started from Walmart guys actually these I found at Target I dropped it. Not a good start if I dropped it, right? <laughs> but here we go. Subaru WRX STI and this nice white pearl. 
this nice pink stripe going along the side of the car there with this nice gold lace the wheels that looks really good and you got a little bit of temple in the front none in the back but this car looks really good as is so this is one of the ones I found at Target if you guys watch my hunting video uh, you'll see that I found this one there um, and I did find two of them I did find two so I grabbed one for David this is gonna be going in your box one of them if you like the WRX and one of them for me to keep it's not a first edition but I'm thinking of taking it out of the package anyways probably um, yeah but this one's David's David this is going in your box if you're watching um, then at Walmart I wasn't able to find hardly anything in the Rancho Cucamonga area, but I did find the first edition for 2023, the Mod Speeder. This is a pretty cool casting. Um, this looks very familiar to me. I think they came out with something like this last year. Um, because this deco and color and the paint scheme looks familiar. I have to double check. But this is new for 2023. And um, look at the front. That looks pretty cool. like the blue. The engine coming out the top. And the 55 on the door. Meatball on the door. That looks really nice. But yeah, this is due for 2023, and it's a first edition, so I had to grab that from Walmart. So I grabbed that. Then I grabbed... I found a mystery model. Two of them. Two number twos. So, we're going to go ahead and open one. I know what it is <clears throat> because in the back if you don't know if anyone doesn't know yet you can flip down the, the flap and I'll tell you the number right there number four and then if you look on the box and go to number four it tells you what card it's in the package here so there's the sticker which is pretty cool really really cool and let's see that's the bone shaker. Bone shaker, that looks cool. Super cool. Look at that, guys. I like the bone shaker. And uh, this is the best casting out of the whole series, in my opinion. Um, look at the top of that. Flat black with green tempos on the top there and the side. The green tires, white five spoke, classic bottom, but the deco on this is outstanding. So bone shaker, this is the the hard top one. Then you know that there's another one that's the convertible. So I haven't seen a hard top one in a while. So let's put that there. So I'm very glad to have that one in my collection. Let's see what else we have in here. I might have to make some room because I don't think I have room on my little table that I have. Oh, and then that Target. I found a new five pack. And it's uh, the car meet for 2023. Check that out, guys. That looks super cool. So, we got the new car meet for 2023. And these are the cars that are in the back. We got the 
Copo Camaro, the 2013 Astro, the Astro Rat, I haven't seen in a while. Custom 18 Ford Mustang GT, the big, the big air bell, the big air bell air, I haven't seen that in a while. And then the muscle and blown. So we got the muscle and blown on the bottom. Looks really good. I got the Camaro in yellow. Astro Rat in this nice, looks like flat red. That looks really nice. And then the Bell, the Big Air, Big Air. That's nice. Uh, looks like this, almost looks like a shiny metallic bluish aqua color but that looks really nice and then you got the custom mustang on top and the white lace rims and white white tail and yeah there you go new for 2023 so if you guys collect these look at your targets it's there what else did i find oh yeah target I also found the zinger uh, 1985 Chevy um, Silverado C10. I like the Zingers. Out of all the Johnny Lightnings, I think the Zingers are the best. And the C10 is looking really nice. Looking really nice. Metal base. Nice black. On the bottom, uh, top half of the truck, nice open engine. You can see the engine. And yeah, looks really nice. Detailed in the back with the license plate. Fully detailed in the front. I had to get it, I know, but I love the Zingers and always will probably pick up the Zingers. And I know Hobby Lobby has a lot of them. I might have to go there. And then, to finish off, or to add more to my Matchbox collection, at another Walmart, I found this Chevy Corvette 2020, and this nice red, white, the black stripe going along the top there. And look at that, they have the number 70 on top of the car. I wonder if that's a reference to 70 years of Matchbox and you notice that Corvette is the last car of the series it's 22 out of 22 and uh, I was lucky to find this one this one's really looking really good fully detailed in the back and the front super cool 22 out of 22 and remember they used to just put cars on the back so you know which ones to find but they don't even do that no more oh, but there's a barcode if you guys want that and then we got this nice this is 13 out of 22 we got this nice 1953 Ford That's looking nice too. Check that out. Number 13 out of the 22. Fully detailed in the back there. Detail in the front as well. Is that a. I don't know, it's just the way the box is. Then you got the top there. Trying to get the glare out of there. Looks like a short bed, huh? Short bed. That's gonna go add to my collection. And then this one I've been trying to find forever. And this is number three out of 22. The 70 Dotson 510 Rally. Check that out. Love the JDM cars, man. The JDM cars are off the hook and this rally 510 is awesome check out the detail on the top roof rack 
love the different color rims signifying the color of the car detail in front detail at the back love the 70 and again number 70 on the car it's probably a reference of 70 years of matchbox nice nice and that's all I got guys this is the haul this is what I found out of all the stores that I stopped at went to 99 cent store and didn't find hardly anything there but old 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 cars like the beginning of 2023 if you guys seen my short videos or my hunting video before this one you'll know what I'm talking about but super cool really glad to have these as part of my collection and uh, comment down below and let me know what your favorite car is and let me know what you guys are finding out there I like to interact with you guys love talking to everybody and just comment whatever you want on the bottom there as long as it's respectful for one, one, one another and uh, yeah comment down below like this video and share it with others and uh see you on my next video and don't forget to subscribe this is hogwood madness and i'm out